you know where you are? This is Nollywood Pictures to you. What is it? Listen, Dennis. I have said it, and there's nothing anybody can do about it. If there is no peace, there will be no sharing of assets. How can a bunch of elders sit at home and watch the homestead burn to ashes? Watch your tongue, you shitty rat. Enough of your insult. Who made you a judge? When has a stranger grown to be a freeborn and dictate to me how I run my homestead? Beware, you shitty lawyer. Who think you are learned? Beware before you confront the unmentionable. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. You go to the city and I go it all. You build mansions and estates. You ride a fleet of cars and frolic with women. Okay? You and come back to the village with your city tricks to rob us. Go back and tell them. There will be no peace. What did you say? There will be no peace. There will be no peace. Go, you city rat. Go and tell your city lots. That as long as they sing the tune, we will continue to dance. I, Dennis Muite, will never bow. I will never bow! Uh. We will see! My grandson. Daddy. Good day, sir. How are you, my wife? Oh, You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> I can see a Kelly hasn't gotten here yet. You know your brother is never on time. <laughs> Daddy, what about uh, mommy and I? They're inside. Okay, let me see them. Okay. You look very cute. I have to thank them. No, sir. Yes, mommy. Please come, let's go inside. Go where? Touch him and that will tell you whom the grandfather is. Daddy! <laughs> You're staying with me. Don't <laughs> get this. Good day, Dad. Good day, my dear. I hope we're not late. <laughs> Nobody's complaining. <laughs> Good day, my dear. How are you? Champion, Hello. champion. How are you? Fine. So, how old are you now? I'm 11 years now. Daddy, are you sure you can manage both of them at the same time? <laughs> because of these few grey hairs on my head, you people think I'm a weak old man. <laughs> 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 So, what do you feed this young man with? He's grown so tall. It's your balls he has, so why are you surprised? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Gentlemen, let's go inside and see grandma, okay? Yes. Uh, uh. Again, I called the office, but the secretary said you're out. I had something to do on the airline. Okay. Mm. Where's the way? Oh, she's inside. Okay, come on, let's go. <laughs>
Ngozi, that's too much meat for one person to eat. It's chicken. It's white meat. It's harmless. Now, Ngozi, meat is meat. That amount of meat is not good for your health. Period. Oh. Thank you, doctors. <laughs> <laughs> you people should help me talk to her. She doesn't take advice. With the way she's going, she will grow so fat that no husband will marry her. <laughs> mm. Thank you, mommy. Thank you. But I have you know that some men actually need women they can hold. Not all those pack of bones you could call beautiful. Did you sure, baby. <laughs> yes, honey. <laughs> Ngozi, nobody has said you should become skinny. <clears throat> Well, if you ask me personally, I think um, Aunt Gloria here is too thin for her age. Sure. And <laughs> how fat do you think I should be at my age? Answer her. I don't know exactly, but I think you're just too thin. <laughs> Your brother is not complaining. Yes, I am not complaining. <laughs> <laughs> you see how trim I am at my age, Ngozi? Yeah. It's because of eating right. And I still have more years of fight Daddy, left in me. Yes. Daddy, did you just say few more years when we all know you're going to live way past a hundred years? <laughs> <laughs> Century dad. Millennium daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about living, that reminds me of something I had wanted to discuss with all of you. My friend, Chief Madaikwe died two years ago. You all knew him. Yes. This morning, I heard that his family has ended up in court over his property. What? 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 That is true. That's a family where love does not exist. We started off loving one another. And I pray that that love and peace will continue. Amen. 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 Whatever I have made in this world and whatever I will leave behind will be in vain if you children will fight over it. God forbid. Let it not be heard anywhere in our family that my own children are fighting over possessions. God forbid. Impossible. Nothing kills a family faster than strife. Um, Dad, what kind of advice is this? I mean, here we are, talking about you living well above a hundred. You're sounding as if you're going to die tomorrow. Oh. Uh, Ken, I am not going to die tomorrow. I just have to mention this. Now that I have the opportunity of getting all of you together, we might not have this chance again of discussing as one family. <clears throat> The old man is actually beginning to think he's my two sister. What is that supposed to be? Oh, no, no, nothing. No, no, no. Daddy. No, no, no. Daddy, you're going to live long for all of us. Amen. You know how mischievous you are. Operating from I can help. No, no, no. I mean, you're a smooth yeah. operator. <laughs> I love the wife.
Is he asleep? Yes. With all that playing and all the food inside him, he passed out like a lock. I've been thinking. About what? About what Dad said this evening. I think something is wrong somewhere. How do you mean? Well, you know what they say. When old men start talking like that, you, you know. <laughs> Darling, are you not funny? And what's funny? If you're thinking of dying, Daddy is as strong as a mule. I won't be surprised if he makes another daddy. And besides, people like your father, they don't die easily. What you were just giving was a piece of advice, and I think we all needed it. I know he's planning on handing the companies to three of you. But your brother Kenny might not exactly get the ones he has his eyes on. The old man has a right to give whichever company to whoever he wants. I'm not particular about such things. I know, darling. I hope your brother understands it when it happens. Ekene can be funny at times. Yes. Ekene can be funny at times. But not up to the point of going against the old man's wishes. Definitely not. Thank you. You don't have to worry, okay? We won't be planning any burial. So, come on, darling. I love you too. Mm -hmm. Good night. Good night. What are you doing? I said, what are you doing? Putting some things down. What things? I thought you promised never to bring work home any longer. But uh, this is not work. you should be making a list of all your father's properties. Yes. You see, I know the time has come for the companies to be shared. And I don't want us to be cheated. Neither do I want us to miss out on anything that should have been ours. We are not going to miss out on anything. I am the first son. When one doesn't know what is being shared, how then does he know if he's receiving a fair share or not? Think about it. And when you're done, join me in bed.
Yes, come in. Ah, Fred, you are here. Thank God for those things called lips. Eh? I wonder how one will expect me to come right up to this place, walk in it. <laughs> eh? Oh. <laughs> I don't know how many times I will invite you to the club to play squash before you turn up. You are grossly rusted away. And I assure you, my friend, you are a very good candidate for heart attack. <laughs> Something must kill a man one day. And if in my own case it's going to be a heart attack, why should I fret? <laughs> eh? It's better than dying in a car accident or in the hands of terrorists. Just make sure you have sufficient money for your family. <laughs> You can be sure I have stolen more than my fair share from men like you. Mm. Eh? And should anything happen to me now, I assure you my family will not like you. Okay. Yes. If you say so. Now, what do you have for me? Oh, yes. Um, let's see. The investment is a very large one. And Obi, it's time you draw up your way. Fred, don't worry your lawyer head. I am not about to drop that now. <laughs> there are more to be added to this. Besides, if anything happens to me now, I am proud to say that I have the most loving and united family on earth. My children will handle their affairs. <laughs> Fred. Yes. I am starving. There is more for us to discuss on lunch. Please. If I tell you I'm happy about how you are suddenly sounding, I'll be lying to you. And how am I sounding? Well, um, you sound almost as if something was about to happen. Something has already happened. The family business is expanding. The new oil company will soon be operational. And I need the two boys to get involved. I can't be building an empire and my two sons are doing something else. If I die today, who will teach them the ropes? Whom will I leave things for? It's all right. It's all right, honey. Everything will be all right. I'm sure they will learn. You see, I speak the way I speak, not because anything will happen. Neither do I have plans of retiring yet. It's just because the time has come for the family to start bonding back together. Ngozi is still young and yet to come out of school. Otherwise, I could have concentrated on her instead of the two boys. Don't worry. Your husband still has a long time to live with you, okay? You better do. Eat your food. Hi, Michael. Mm. How are you? I'm fine. Good day. How was your day? Not too bad. Ooh, I'm so hot. Ooh. So, where are you coming from? <sighs> School, Dad. I'm from there. I accompanied um, Ijoma to the market to get some fabrics. Ngazi, sit down. Part of the reasons I wanted to see you. Two years, my dear. Two years to the end of your curse. I've been waiting. You still haven't told me what you want to do with your life. Dad. 
I have a lot of time. How much time? The way things are wouldn't do. You can't keep going around visiting people and those you know. Huh? You have to start thinking about settling down and doing something positive with your life. Now, I have decided that after the lectures each day, you have to come down here and work with me for some hours. Dad, if I start working here, I'll be under so much scrutiny and that's no fun. And you don't want that? Young lady, if you don't want to get scrutinized, how do you hope to grow? We are thinking about how to get you something doing and you settling down. Dad! Ngozi, I am an old man. Even if I refuse to admit it, I don't have as much time as I would have wished. You're beginning to sound like mom. I mean, my teens. I can't start thinking of getting married now. But then, I would want to carry your children before I go to rest. You have a lot of time, Dad. I assure you, you'll carry them. I pray so. <laughs> Dad. What is it? Empty, Dad. My account is in the red. Young lady, the rate at which you spend money is quite alarming. You've got to learn how to be more prudent, okay? Thanks, Dad. Manage it well because you are not going to get anything till the end of the month. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> allowed both of you to do whatever it is you wanted with your lives and I thank God you both have made success of your lives but I think it is time you started thinking about taking a keener interest in my business things are expanding and my bones are getting tired I need you to look in with a view of Helping me organize things. Dad, you're already highly organized. You don't need us to come in disorganize what you have already organized. If you are not getting familiar with the way all the operations are run in the company, how do you hope to take over when I'm gone? You are the ones I will hand over to. Dad, please, stop being fatalistic and talking about this when you're gone, when you're gone there. We must talk about it. We must face up with the inevitability of death when it comes. Anyway, that is by the way. What I wanted to tell you about is that I've invested heavily into an oil exploration company. And I believe things will work out well with our business being pushed up to new levels. Ekene, Jamike, I need your hands. I would like you to think about it and tell me what you think. Dad, are you trying to employ us? <laughs> <laughs> are you laughing over it? Kene, Jamike, you are the ones I will hand over to. Plead that all hands must be on deck. We're sorry, Dad. Yes, 
seven. Give me my money. I said, yes, seven. Give me my money. Come and give me my bag before I give you your money. Come and bring out my bag. Give me my money. Give me yes. Give me my money. I will give you. Now take this and go and build your own house. Give, give me my money. Give, give me, me my money. Give me a reason. That's why I don't like coming to this town because all of you are nothing but thieves. Niori. That is Thieves. That's what all of you are. Now who did that? What brings the cricket out of its hole? It is trouble. Whatever trouble it is, you're welcome. Thank you very much. Let's sit down. Thank you. I don't think you will be home yet. I, I just came in. These days I try to take time to ease off work. Okay. At our age, we shouldn't be working so hard. You're correct. You're correct. Tina! Tina! Sir! Hey, uh. ah, Alright, how are you? Fine, sir. Take Uncle's bag and put in the guest room. Run some water for him to take his bath. Then prepare something for us to eat. Okay, sir. What of Mama Ngozi? Is she not at home? No. She has got to see her friend. Mm. Obi, I can see you have added to this house. <laughs> eh? Hey! <laughs> hey! You people are living good. Unlike us in the village. Eh? Poverty is using our lips to scrub the earth. <laughs> eh? Hey! Brother Dennis. It is the same thing everywhere. Hey. Honestly, it is the same everywhere. Mm. Huh? <laughs> ah. uh. Uh, so, what of uh, Mamo Kechuku? That's the reason why I came home. Honga is trying to kill us. But I came to see if there is something you can do for us. Eh? I take this. Uh. You are just coming. You need to eat. Relax. Then we shall talk. Mm. Okay. Maybe you say so. Okay. Maybe you say so. Uh. 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 Slow down on that. It is stronger than pure rum. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. <laughs> huh? If you get this type in the village, nobody will bother about you in state. <laughs> <laughs> it will kill all the germs in the mouth. <laughs> uh, hey. What I'm saying is that you don't take too much of it. Otherwise, you wake up tomorrow to see your head as big as Mamu Bioma's boot up. <laughs> That's your business partner. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you still doing business with that? Uh, well, what's in the while? <laughs> <laughs> you said you needed some money. Uh, yes. Uh, any problem? Uh, no. I've been thinking about it. You see, every time you come to Lagos asking for money, no matter how small, I feel embarrassed writing out checks every time. Are you saying there is nothing I can go back with? No, 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 no. Don't misunderstand me. 
Uh, what I am going to do is to put together a substantial amount of money. I will hand it over to you by the end of the month. You can start a business with it. That way you will stop coming to Lagos every time. Oh, that's, that's a good idea. Uh, but before the end of the month, I am Mamokuch, we shall be eating something. <laughs> yes. Huh? There's no problem. You said you were leaving tomorrow. Uh, as long as you can give me something to hold on to. Okay. I will arrange for something this evening. Okay, this evening? Yes. <laughs> 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 ah, That's good. this is wine. Beautiful. <laughs> Chief, Fred. Oh, there you are. What's wrong? What's the problem? Have you seen today's newspapers? No, please. What is it? There is a report that the Akampa oil well is dry. Against all speculations, there is no oil in it. Chief, this means all the money, all the investment gone. Chief, we have lost everything. Chief, I'm sorry, I tried to make all the contacts I could to see whether... Chief. 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 Chief, Chief don't do this. Chief. Chief. Secretary! 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 You are not at work. I was, but um, I decided to come and see you. Ah. Is there any problem? How can we get across to your sons? I need them here. Have you called Obi? Something has happened to my daughter, I know it. What has happened to her? Tell me, Fred, please. Nothing has happened to your daughter. In fact, I wanted to go through her school to pick her up. But on second thought, I decided to, first of all, inform you, Ekede and Jamike. Inform us about what? <coughs> Come on, Fred, stop talking in riddles and tell me whatever it is. I want to wait for the boys to be here. Please call them. No. We are not calling anybody until you tell me what is happening here. What is it, Fred? I'm waiting. Talk to me, Fred. Chief is dead. What did you say? Oh, God. He had a heart attack this what? morning. This long. And before we got him to the hospital, he was dead. When? Why? Oh God. I went across to his office this morning. 
to discuss the issue of the oil well that had got dried. He couldn't take it. He gave up. Just like that. Just like that. Fred, just like that. Just like that and don't be died. Oh no. Oh God. Oh me. <laughs> About the morning when you're wearing long faces. What brings you to the village early this morning? Eh? Okay? Jamika, what happened? Eh? What is it? Huh? It's huh? Papa. No, what's wrong with your father that you left Lagos and came this morning? Eh? The Papa is dead. Did I hear you right? No. What did you say? Huh? Our father is dead. Obi! Oh! He's dead! He died yesterday morning. Hey! Obi is dead! Daddy! What are you? It's one more! Jamika! Okay. Are you going to move on? Are you going to move on? 
Uh, let me go and inform the elders. Hey. Hey. This cannot be true. This hey. cannot be happening. Hey. Eh? Hey. 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 But you'll be promised to give me a big amount of money by the end of this month. Hey. Eh? This cannot be happening. Is that true? Well, like I told your mother, it's a little more complicated than that. So many assets, including this house, were mortgaged in order to raise funds to finance the buyout of the oil well from Konoko Corporation. And when we found out that that well was dry, your father could not take it. He slumped and died. The question now is this, how do we pay up the bills? So Uncle Fred, what do you want us to do? Nothing as a matter of fact, except that we have to start from where your father stopped. We have to make those investments pay. I am relying on both of you because there's very little I can do on my own. Uncle Fred. Yes? I don't think this is the right time to start talking about what to do with the company. We still have the barrier to put together. Ekene is right. That's the most important thing to do. The businesses can be sorted out later. Good. Good enough both of you are thinking and talking the same way. There are provisions in your father's will that can be activated immediately, especially the money he set aside for his own burial. Oh, yes. <laughs> Uncle Fred. Yeah. By the grace of God, we have both made something out of our lives. It is our duty as our father's sons to bury our father with our own money. We don't have to use his money to bury him. Without sounding immodest, we have more than enough. I think I agree with you. There's one more thing. Your father left instructions that his will should not be executed unless both of you are in perfect agreement with his provisions. So, as soon as the burial is over, I'm going to make available to you copies of that will for your perusal. We start from there. That's all right. Okay. Thank you, Uncle Fred. Right. Well, thank you very much. I'll be seeing you. Strange thing though, the old man left money for his burial as if he knew he was going to die. Well, that's a piece of good news. How? I mean, it just takes away the strain that would have been on our pockets if we were to bear the burial cost. Why do you talk like that? Do you expect me to use my father's money to bury him? What have I made all this money for? And I'm sure that that stupid suggestion must have come from your brother. And when the time comes for him to bring money out, he won't bring out a cobble. I will have you know that nobody made any such suggestions. 
as the first son of the family, it is my responsibility to bury my father. Even if it will cost my last couple, I will do it. <laughs> and you expect me to applaud you on that noble speech, Mr. Eloquent? I mean, your father left money for his burial. I don't see why you don't want to use it. For God's sakes, why are you so intent on wasting the scarce funds that we have in this house? Woman, would you sub my food and stop jabbering about what you don't understand? Oh. Hi, darling. Hi. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, you're welcome. Thank you. Dad, you're welcome. Mansa, how are you? Fine. What a tiring day. How are the arrangements going? Well, smoothly so far. What about my man and Gazi? They're fine. Mama is a strong woman. They are. And they were so attached to each other. Yes, they were. But... You people have not started discussing about the will yet. No. That will have to wait until the burial is over. I don't think that is good enough. Everything that needs to be sorted out should be sorted out now. The longer you wait, the more troublesome things might be later on. Gloria, father just died. The most important thing is to give him a befitting burial. Besides, a king and I are responsible men. Why should there be any problem over father's will? Whatever father left behind, we should be able to handle without any problem. If you say so, I feel you should let your brother know your stance on issues. I've had a tiring day. I don't think this is the right time to discuss such things. All I want to do now is to take my bath and fall into bed. What is important is that we have given him the type of burial he rightly deserved. You have done what sons are supposed to do. And I'm sure the entire village will be proud of you. But um, your father's business must continue running. And that's where we have the next challenge. And I expect you to live up to that challenge. Thank you, Dave Dennis. Both Ekena and I have no intentions of allowing our father's businesses to die. As far as you start working on that right away. Uh, your mother tells me that there are problems with the banks. Nothing that we can't handle. Uh, okay, uh, if you say so. I don't think there is much for us to continue talking about. Uh, uh, let me get back to the house. Uh, Mama Okachuku has not been feeling fine since the burial. Uh, can I? Uh, give me a leg. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Uh, please say us well to Mama Okachuku. Okay. Listen to your um, I can The dead are dead and have been buried. It is time now for you and your brother to start the process of living once again. But you must be very careful because I don't like the look I see in your brother's eyes. You are the firstborn and you should get what you rightly deserve. Dear Dennis, don't worry. Jamike and I have a perfect understanding of one another. We shall both get what is coming to us. Uh, I am not doubting that. Uh, all I'm concerned about is having peace in the family. 
If your brother rises against you tomorrow, he should be put where he belongs. Okay. Yes. That kind of situation will not arise. I am saying this because from what I've seen, your brother is more assertive than you are. I am somebody who sees the truth and speaks it out. If you need somebody to speak for you, just let me know. I am somebody who don't, I, I cannot see injustice and allow it to go. <laughs> the, the, this, nobody is doing anybody injustice. My father left specific instructions on how things should be handled. And that is the way they are going to be handled. Ah. Okay, if you say so. Uh, let me start going home and uh, find them something to eat. Uh, because um, the hunger must have rubbed their faces on the mud by now. <laughs> I was even going to Ikena to borrow some money. Uh, if he has any, if he has any. Hey, Dennis, <laughs> with all the wealth in the family, how can you be talking about borrowing money from anybody? Hmm? <laughs> uh, um. <laughs> See what this can uh, get you. Hey. I will get you more money later. I shouldn't have taken this from you. Because you have spent so much burying your father. If I didn't have, I wouldn't give. <laughs> Thank you, my son. Uh, that's why I always pray for you. Uh, you are not like your brother. That one. Hm. He does not believe anybody should survive except his wife and son. <laughs> <laughs> you know you are the father we know now. Uh, okay, hmm. okay, thank you. Uh, let me be going. Okay. Hmm? Hmm. Tell Auntie I'll come over in the evening to see her and the kids. Uh, I will. Eh? Hmm. Okay. 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 Dry. Why are you pushing them off the line? So what am I supposed to do? Eh? Wait for your son's clothes to dry before I hang up my son's own. Eh? Did you string any line here? Better we are not quarreling. But pushing the clothes off the line is not good now. But any better there are other free lines. You can spread. Eh eh! Tatafo. If she knew there were other free lines, why didn't she hang up her son's clothes on them? Come, both of you should leave me alone. It's not your fault now, is it? It's because I came to stay in the village with you people. Nonsense. What is going on here? Mama, it's Aunt Betta. She's quarreling with Aunt Gloria over where to spread her clothes. Ah. When there are so many empty lines here. Oh. Betta, what is the matter? Gloria, ma'am, did you say anything to her? Mama, she is the one that knows what is eating her. Honestly, I did not say anything to her. It's all right. Please, spread out your son's clothes over there. There are so many empty lines here. Even this one? Yes, this one here, everywhere. There are so many empty lines. You can spread out your son's clothes there. Be cool.
Ngozi. You've seen better in this house. Oh my God. I won't tolerate it from her any longer. Your family. Oh, we are fine. Oh. Uh, I have not seen you people since the burial. Okay. I've come to see how you are coping before going back to the city. Hey. Thank you very much. Oh. God bless you. <laughs> it's not everybody in this village who has thought for the next person. <laughs> oh, how are you? <laughs> and this not the boys I saw a week ago. Yes, they are the same ones. Hi. Grandma, want to go and play football? Okay, go and enjoy yourself. What have they been eating? They are growing like yam shoots. <laughs> Nothing special. <laughs> uh, nature is wonderful. As something is dying, something is growing. Huh? That's how God made life. Ah. So, what should I offer you? No, don't worry. I have been going around the village since today and i've had more than enough to eat and drink <laughs> look i think somebody has a grand plan to make me develop pot belly in my old age <laughs> now when did you say you people are going back to lagos uh, my sons and their wives will be going by this weekend mm -hmm. yes they have their businesses to run. Of course, of course. Ngozi and I we wait a little longer. Mm -hmm. We still have too much cleaning to do and back up. I thought Ngozi was still at school. Wouldn't waiting disturb her studies? Yes, it would. But what can I do? Uh, Tina and I cannot handle this. And I can't possibly ask my son's wife to wait behind and help me do it. Mm -hmm. They have their children to take care of. And those ones are still in school too. Hmm, that is true, that is true. Well, <clears throat> I think what will happen is this. I will send my wife across and she will help out with the job. Oh, thank you very much. No, it's all right. That is very thoughtful of you. No, no, it's okay. Though, Dennis's wife has been helping out. Oh, that is good. Yes. That is good. That is very good. Well, I must be going. Okay. I, I don't I don't like staying out late these days. It's all right, but do you say I shouldn't find something to eat at least? Oh, well, unless uh, you want to carry my stomach on a truck back to my house, then I will wait and eat. <laughs> <laughs> Today, look at all that has happened. My man goes there in the village simply because we, we cannot secure enough money to take care of them. Meanwhile, they, it's not as if the money is not there. No! 
It's only because Ekene has just refused to allow anybody access to it. That's the problem. That's just the